Day 47, 1127 AM. And it just so happens to be my favorite number, 47. So because of that, and because you guys are the final five, and we'll all be making it to finale night, I have transformed the upstairs task room into a spa, where you're able to get a brand new outfit, relax in a sauna, and even get a little bit of a massage. The task room is now unlocked, and all of you may now go upstairs. And first things first, Kristen has to fill up that punch bowl, and that'll definitely keep the housemates in this room for a while. But she doesn't look to be too happy about it. Meanwhile, Tice went straight towards the new clothes and is picking himself out a brand new outfit. We, of course, have also have a hookah, uh, well, a bubble blower up here as well that we see Kaylee and Jesse are instantly trying out. While Bryson has lit an incense and is relaxing in the nude in the sun. Uh -huh. <sighs> now, I probably could have had Sims hot dogs come in and do the makeup and hair for everyone. But I decided it'd be kind of fun if the housemates did it to each other instead. So we see that Kaylee has invited Kristen over to the makeup chair and is giving her a new look. Hopefully she likes it. Yibsy. <laughs> One forty one PM Tice does kind of look like a butler in this tuxedo. <laughs> Um, however, he is actually giving Kristen a massage on his own free will. He just wanted to show his girl some love, and I think she's enjoying it. Meanwhile, back in the dressing room, Bryson's turn to pick out a brand new outfit. And I did try to make sure all of these outfits matched The Sims. And I thought this one looked really great next to, next to his other formal wear. And while Tice and Kristen are enjoying that massage, Kaylee doesn't seem to be enjoying the intimacy between the two of them. I'm not too sure if she has feelings for Kristen, Tice, both, but she's taking out her anger on Tice. And I love that while the three of them are arguing, Bryson just comes in in his brand new outfit, is trying to show it off, and just can't read the room that now might not be the best time. And Tice actually ends up leaving the room and instead goes to take a shower in hopes of cooling off. But he can't really leave the situation as he's in plain sight in front of everyone that he just left. <laughs> While Jesse is alone in the dressing room, they decide to try on their brand new blue dress. Three thirty five PM. Kaylee is still very angry, so she's trying to use these spa amenities in order to calm herself down. But it doesn't seem that the incense in the sauna is working too much. Nerd! The boy! Ah. And while everyone else is having fun inside the dressing room, Kaylee has picked her next target, and this time it's Bryson. Oh, Ina! <laughs> Pass 
Hiya, Pardu. Isn't it blue? Draw blue. <laughs> After arguing with everyone except for Jesse, Big Brother ends up calling Kaylee into the diary room where she's met once again with Skelly Bear and awesome. takes her anger out oh, on the bear no. and hopefully doesn't die as we don't need another death this close to the finale. Meanwhile, back in the dressing room, Kristen is next to pick out her finale night outfit. Genou, Insula Calais. Uh huh. 5 57 p.m. It seems as though Tice and Kristen haven't gotten enough attention from one another, and a massage didn't quite do it. So instead, the two of them end up going back into the massage room and getting their woohoo on. Meanwhile, in the dressing room, Jesse is trying to calm down Kaylee and make her feel a little bit better by giving her a foot massage. But they don't seem to be doing that great. And I can't help but notice that it's time for Kaylee to shave her legs once again. <laughs> Bryson seems to be feeling pretty good even after getting yelled at by Kaylee. He had some time in the sauna, he got a new outfit, and he was having fun blowing some bubbles. And now he wants to see what's going on in the spa room, and while he can't necessarily join, he can sit and watch. After getting a foot massage and having a couple glasses of fruit punch, Kaylee seems to be feeling a lot better. And as Jesse relaxes in the sauna, I can only hope that Kaylee doesn't walk in here and see what's going on in the spa room. But, of course, my, na my nightmare comes true as she goes in to take a shower and shave those hairy legs. Thankfully, she's a bit occupied in there and doesn't notice the total chaos happening as we see now that Bryson is enjoying himself a lot more while watching. In the dressing room, Jesse is left alone once again and grabs a couple more cups of fruit punch. I feel bad for Jesse. They are always left alone while the other four housemates are off canoodling elsewhere in the house. While Jesse spends his time bubble blowing, Kaylee is finally able to pick out her outfit. And last but not least, it definitely matches her style. Seven twenty nine PM. After all receiving brand new outfits, the task room is now closed and our housemates are back in the main house enjoying the rest of their day. We see that outside in the garden, Kristen is of course working out. Duh, that's kind of all she ever does nowadays. Meanwhile, inside the house, everyone seems to be crowded inside the storage room. Kaylee and Bryson are enjoying some popcorn, Jesse is doing a few push-ups, while Tice decides to cook hamburger sliders for the rest of his housemates. Thankfully, all of our Sims have been in the house long enough where I don't necessarily have to worry that they're going to burn the place down. However, I still have to worry about them burning to death, as it is still peak summertime in Windenburg and the temperatures are high. And that workout outfit just isn't going to be cutting it for Kristen, so she has to cut her workout short and head inside before she dies. We don't want her to end up like her twin sister Addison. But thankfully, it's just in time for dinner as the hamburger sliders are complete and they look perfect. But Ty still doesn't seem satisfied. And neither does Jesse. But of course, they still grab a plate because Jesse is never going to deny free food. Ashi. 
After this long conversation in the storage room, is everything okay between Kaylee and Bryson? Or are they just enjoying some popcorn and waiting on their laundry to dry? I guess we'll never know. Ten o four PM. I don't know if you guys agree, but to me, a day at the spa, relaxing and doing treatments is just as tiring as a day of hard work. For some reason, they're both really exhausting. And it seems as though our housemates feel the same way, as a lot of them are heading to bed pretty early. Okay, granted, it is Tyson and Kristen and they have been woohooing a bunch, but I still think it is nice to actually see our Sims showering in front of one another and sharing a bed and stuff like that. To so just think that a couple of weeks ago, they had no idea who each other was, they refused to shower, they almost refused to use the bathroom in front of each other, they wouldn't share a bed, and now look at them, woohooing every single day, showering openly in front of everyone. It's just nice to see how comfortable they've actually got in the house. And just as they've gotten comfortable, they're about to get kicked out in just a couple of days. And as Kristen enjoys some late night hamburger sliders, Tice heads to bed. And with just one housemate left awake, I am going to go ahead and end the episode there. I hope you guys are liking it so far. Let me know down below what you think of our housemates finale looks. Do you think they're an improvement? Do you not like them? Let me know down below. And of course, make sure you're voting for your winner. We are having the round two vote for the winner and you can vote over on the community section or over on Twitter. Make sure you get your vote in as they do close soon. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last highlight show. Bye.